<clears throat> What's up everyone? How's it going? Currently walking right now on the treadmill. Um, one of my clients, I told him, hey, we're going to do four miles together today. You do four, I'm going to do four. And I was like, you know what? Honestly, let's also promote the Sweat Timber Challenge. So we're going to do a walkathon. We're going to do, I got roughly an hour before kids show up. So let's see how many people we can get signed up for the Sweat Timber Challenge during this time. It's at OneRepFitness.com. Let me edit this right now. Okay, so the link is in the live. Boom, there we go. Do 10 miles, Michael? Ah, uh, we're not doing 10 miles, I got an hour. I'm slowly pacing right now. Um, but yeah, no, man. I was like, that's great, let's do it. It's actually been a minute since I've got on the treadmill. I actually don't get on this much. I usually try to walk outside as much as possible. <clears throat> There's one thing I forgot though. The biggest thing that you need while doing exercise is water. That's okay, we're good. Go. Hope you're all doing amazing. Again, this is a walkathon for the next hour. Um, we're going to see how many people can sign up for the Sweat Timber Challenge. Opportunity to win $500 is out of my pocket. I have saved up for this to make this happen. Eventually, I would like to grow it um, or scale it to where my vision is. Um, this is just the first step. Hello. <clears throat> this is just the first step to make that happen. Heart rate's really low right now. So we're gonna increase a little bit. Oh baby, how's everyone doing? Hopefully you're having a, a good Monday. It's a new week, a new day. You all should have set goals over the weekend for this week as I want to see you all progress. How can you progress without having goals in place? You can't. Physically, you cannot. <clears throat> I got baptized yesterday for this uh, second time in my life. Um, it was the most beautiful thing ever as I got to experience that with my kids. It was very powerful spiritually. I'm not going to come here and talk to you all about that though because um, I know a lot of people don't really appreciate it but also at the same time like it's always good to grow spiritually. Um, even if you're a non-believer you need to grow. Through the power of God anything is possible you all. pretty freaking accurate, okay. Push. Oh, you said push. <laughs> I thought you were saying psh. No, the watch is pretty accurate. Not bad. I'll take it. Bro, it's rubbing against the wall right now. It's like making a creaking noise. It's bugging me. What if I got it in me? What if uh, we could do a fast jog? It's been a minute. I used to be, I was at a point where I was doing uh, 
11 minute miles. Screw it, let's go. No, not incline, gosh darn it. All day. So, again, this is a walkathon for whoever wants to join the Sweat Hammer Challenge for the opportunity to win $500. The link is in the live. Go there and sign up. Stop sleeping on your weight loss because you're scared to make a super small investment to better in yourself. Not bad. I'll take it. What's up, Daisy, Pam? Oh, he just finishes four miles. Gosh darn it, Jeremy. How's everyone doing? Joining in, inviting you all to join the Sweat Timber Challenge. I should have named it something with October, honestly, um, but it's all good. Richard. Get a gang of people, let's go. <clears throat> My kids' uh, football game Friday got canceled uh, due to an event that is very traumatizing for the students, as uh, a peer or a student that goes to their school wrote a kill list and within that list they also brought a gun to school so their football game got canceled what's good Fabian um, so yeah super traumatizing for the students and I'm glad that they actually took that into consideration and not just focusing on the sports or athletics of the school um, because it really mentally hurt a lot of students um, especially having a kill list. Um, the sheriff showed up, swatted up, bro. Um, yeah, so football game got canceled. They forfeited on to this week's game at least. So hopefully just gives them time to improve physically, mentally, create that chemistry for a successful game.
Oh yeah, this wash is so behind. I've done 4.8 miles. Port, 0.48, sorry. The watch shows 0.45. It's just pretty behind. It's okay though. Christopher, Fiona, Fabian, what's good? Nelson, how's it going? Again, this is a promotional live to join the Sweat Timber Challenge. So I encourage all of you all, as I'm building this, my vision, I'll just tell you, I told said in a comment, my vision is just truly build this as big as I can. As we all know, by 2030, just in America alone, 60% of adults will be considered obese. It is a big issue. Obesity is a big issue here. So, I might... My vision is, I'm going to create this one challenge that I've personally saved up for, put, poured my heart and soul into, um, and we're going to grow it, scale it so big that we're able to offer massive cash prizes, include like some supplements, maybe even some swag. Um, that's really my goal and my vision for this uh these next challenges. Um, I've already anticipated this one's gonna break me. I'm gonna go negative. Um, that's a part of business. I invested over, you know, $1,200 into this. And uh, I've had like 24 people sign up at an average of $19.99 for 36 days to get all of your tools you need, workout program. Underdiagnosed as being diabetic, I'm sure. Um, I'm not diabetic, so I'm good there. But, yeah, no, it's really sad. 60% by 2030, like, y'all, that's right around the corner. Like I've said before, like, go around as you're driving or walking through the, super, the, the, the market, um, as you're at the airport, at a restaurant, at the gym even, and just look. And see how many people is morbidly obese. Not just obese, but morbidly obese. Look around. Like, you'll be able to point, I guarantee, like five people within two minutes. It's a massive issue. It's huge. It's on the rise. And if we don't just grab it and pin it down and truly help people change their lives, they're not happy. I wasn't happy. I'm sure the person watching this isn't or wasn't happy with their body either. No one's truly happy with their body at the end of the day, but when you're morbidly obese, you have so many restrictions that limits you from doing daily things or even just enjoying the outdoors or enjoying time with your family. And it truly is devastating knowing that there's people promoting this Body positivity, which I, I mean, I'm, I'm all for promoting body positivity and mental health and mental growth. But at the same time, we also need to be able to go to sleep knowing that we're going to be there tomorrow for our family, for our kids. When you're morbidly obese like that, you have so many health complications that can come um, to play with it. And you may go to bed one night feeling great, but you may not wake up. You honestly may not wake up because you've chosen for years, decades, months, for these poor choices. You, you've chosen these poor choices. You're the one that's created these bad habits mentally and saying it's okay, it's going to get better. I'm going to start this day. I'm going to start tomorrow. I'm going to start Monday. But yet no one's willing to actually just <clears throat> put the fork down and go for a walk. It doesn't take much to get started. It really doesn't. And I, I think the, the controversy of it is is there's people on the social media really like overthinking and overcomplicating the whole process of losing weight when in reality it's not that difficult. It's pretty freaking simple. 
calories in versus calories out. Having some sort of activity level for having some sort of activity for 20, 40 minutes throughout the day. 20, 40 minutes isn't that hard. Most of us sit and scroll on social media. Get home, plop on the couch, your chair, and go to Netflix. Watch a show. Like, we do these things out of habit. But yet, you could break that cycle mentally and truly become healthier by just going for that short walk. By putting the food down and saying, no, that's enough. I've had enough. I can't overeat today. I shouldn't eat this. I'm not going to eat this. I'm not saying you got to walk 10,000 steps a day either. You really don't. Like at the end of the day, your, your PMR is what controls your calories out. Um, you can legitimately eat less calories as your body burns and you're, you're already in a deficiency. You don't have to exercise. You, I mean, you do. You should for mental strength, mental health. But at the end of the day, like... If you're eating less than what your body's burning, you will lose weight. It's science. It's, what, <laughs> it's proven many times. Many researches, proven, legitimate researches conducted by scientists, doctors, nutritionists, dietitians, they've proven this. I'm not just saying it to <clears throat> make myself sound like I know what I'm talking about. It, it's just the truth. Like, you can legitimately make so much progress within your health so you know that you're going to wake up the next morning next to your significant other or by or next, next door to your kids' room, knowing that you're going to be able to take your kids to school or pay the, the bills so your family is living. But yet people don't want to do that. Why? Why don't they? I don't understand. Why well, I do, because I was there. But like... I don't understand now because I'm in this different mental state in, in my life that like, it doesn't make sense. But really it does because I was that person, right? I was that person that chose the poor habits and poor choices to, to me not wake up the next morning. To not be able to fasten a seatbelt regularly, not be able to fit in an outhouse while you need to go to the potty because you're out in an event. Not be able to fit in any chair that you walk by. Not be able to put my own socks on because my belly was so huge that it overhang and it took over my whole body. So like I had no capabilities of just bending forward. I was there. I've been there. And I'm, I've proven it several times over and over to everyone, to millions millions that it's it's not that complicated it's not that difficult but everyone's indulging in the person that has the chiseled body because they think that they know what they're talking about but then at the end of the day they've never been in the shoes that we've been in they were never once where we were and most of them that are or has been where we were they're so jumped up on peptides that they're building so much muscle that their BMR is increasing significantly so they can just eat more and lose fat faster. <laughs> it's like this dude, they lost four, like 300 pounds in 12 months. Congratulations. It's amazing. It's a lot of work. But you should have saw his video of the peptides that he had on his table for muscle growth, for his Crohn's disease. Testosterone. <clears throat> you sure saw it. It filled up his table. Yes, it takes a lot of dedication. It takes a mindset shift to still do it at the end of the day. But the thing is, is like they they sped that process up so they can advance, go quickly. I never once done that throughout my whole journey. I could. I can go on semi-glutide, G1L, or GLP1, whatever it's called, uh, trizipatide, whatever it may be. I can go on those. It's just like Ozempic. Morgino. I, I could do that. I could speed up my whole process. But did, 
really ruins my whole perception of weight loss, in my opinion. So I'm, I'm coming to you all today, walking with you, showing you that the impossible is possible, being vulnerable, posting about my personal life like here and there, and, and posting my journey so you, the world can see, and millions have seen it, which is so beautiful. But it's like no one wants to take me seriously at the end of the day when I'm trying to do something good in the community, in the world. I'm trying to help people really overcome this issue that they've been struggling with their entire life. And it's just really sad. It's really sad. <sighs> One day, I'm going to wake up and the world's just going to know that my mission was worth it, that my mission was a success because I never gave up, I'm consistent. And my mission has never changed, it's always been the same. I'm going to help defeat obesity worldwide. I'm going to do it. Either with you all, my village, or by myself, I'm going to be able to do it. Period. I'm not going to give up. Yeah, there's been times I'm like, this is hard. Social media sucks. I can't do this today. But then I remember my vision. I remember why I started. Because I couldn't put my socks on. And I had to ask my kids to help me do it. That I couldn't just go to the doctor's office and sit in their chairs because I was so big. Cheapest challenge is going to be the sweat timber. Sam. Sweat timber. It's $15.99. Stupid cheap. Um, I'm not going to be just holding your hands. I'm not going to babysit you. I say that because I don't want to be held accountable if I don't. But the reality of it is, is that I'm so passionate about everyone being successful that I'm going to do it. But just know, like, I do have a life. And I'm not going to invest as much time as I would on a regular one-on-one -on -one client when they've taken that step to truly invest in themselves. If that makes sense. Jeremy, what's up, my guy? Jeremy is a client of mine. Um... He lost seven pounds his first week. We implemented uh, a pretty, pretty intense strength training program. Um, and Jeremy, I hope I'm okay saying this. Um, and then he gained three pounds. And I told him, I was like, Jeremy, it's okay. This is going to happen. Weight loss isn't a constant decline. Weight loss is is a roller coaster. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Uh, weight loss is a roller coaster, and you're gonna have your ups and you're gonna, you're gonna have your downs. So I told him I was like, all right, this is what you're gonna do. Sunday you're resting. <laughs> I don't want you doing anything. Um, and then today I just want you to do four miles. And the reason why is because he is training weight. He's training to build muscle, right? So when you start ripping and tearing your muscles, think of as it as a, a, a sprained ankle. You sprain your ankle, what happens? It swells up, right? It swells up. So when you're, when you're lifting weights, you're tearing your muscle fibers. What's happening? It's retaining water. It's inflamed. Your muscles are repairing right now. And it, take, it could take two days. It could take four days. It could take even longer to repair. You, you know, it happens. That's why rest days are one of the most important things that is not as often talked about that it should be because resting is super critical. Um, so, yeah, Jeremy's going to have a massive win this next week. I'm very proud of him. He's made astronomical success with his nutrition. Um, he is someone that I do hold his hands. I do tell him, Jeremy, you're messing up, bro. <laughs> Why do you have too many carbs? There's so much fat. I'd rather have you have more protein than more carbs. Um, 
but uh, at the end of the day, too, is that one day isn't going to affect the whole journey. It's not going to affect all of your progress. You can have those days. And it's totally okay, you all. You, you may be working out lifting weights, and your body's just signaling you, I need carbs. I need it. So don't fight that urge, but learn how to control it to a point where, like, you're not overeating two to 400 grams of carbs, you know what I mean? Like, you can still enjoy it. You can still enjoy it. Just don't, just don't overeat. You gotta unlock your mind. You gotta learn how to control your hormones, which is ghrelin and, uh, I'm on the spot right now too. Um, there's two that work together, I apologize. Um, for my lack of um, knowledge right now, I'm just concentrating on walking and talking at the same time. So there's two that play in together. One helps you control your appetite or your signals your appetite. One controls your, your fullness, um, essentially in layman's terms. So you got to learn how to, uh, to talk to those hormones in your body. And once you're able to do that, like you can enjoy things. You can enjoy things. Like, like I say, in the beginning of this, weight loss isn't that difficult. It's really not. It's, it's not that hard. It's, it's very, very simple. But there's so many people with these chiseled bodies that's just trying to overcomplicate it and making it difficult. When at the end of the day, we're just trying to become healthier so we wake up next to our families the next day. We're just trying to become healthier so we can walk to the mailbox and not feel like we're walking a marathon. We're just trying to get healthier so we can actually buckle the seatbelt without the extender. We're just trying to get healthier so we can fit into a regular bathroom stall without going to the handicap and actually interfering with someone that is handicapped that needs that stall. We're not going to a bodybuilding competition stage and competing to show off our bodies. We're just trying to show off to our families to our friends, to God. We're not going to a bodybuilding stage. So there's absolutely no reason to overcomplicate it. There really isn't. And if you want to do that route, then for sure you should go do that route. But it's not made for me. I'm not, I'm not mentally ready, honestly mentally ready for um, a massive cut like that. I haven't even bolted yet really um, to do even jump on a stage. One day I'd like to just because I want to be able to break those barriers with my confidence and self-esteem that I think it would be nice to perform on a stage in front of thousands or millions of people and show off what I've done. And that'd be the only reason why I would personally go on to a stage is to break those walls. But right now, I'm not ready for that. And most likely neither are you. You're just wanting to be able to wake up or keep up with your kids at a park or even have some sort of energy to, to go to that you know, parent-teacher conference or go to that sports event for your children, whatever it may be. At the end of the day, us parents, we really just are trying to be the best as we can be and be there for them. But you overeating overcomplicating and truly just doing nothing with your life is not going to get you there. It's not going to get you there. So I encourage you all to truly start making healthier choices. You don't need to make drastic changes immediately. It's not going to do you any good but set you up for failure. It's really not. You don't want to fail. This is my first time ever attempting weight loss, and I've done 150. I've lost 150 pounds, and honestly, I haven't had a thought of just stopping or going back. Um, yes, I've had um, issues to where I needed to slow down, um, such as my lower back, or I needed to just chill because I'm injured, and that's totally normal, right? It's my life. At least every day I get to wake up. Every day I get to make healthier choices while I'm eating. I get to just be there for you all at the end of the day too, right? Thanks for enjoying the live again.
this walkathon is encouraging you all as well to join the September challenge. I don't think anyone has joined quite yet. Um, I haven't got a notification for it at least. So I really do encourage you all to join it. Oh brother, it will be posted all the time. I'm actually gonna download it and I'll make smaller clips into it um, from it because I definitely said some things that a lot of people need to hear at the end of the day. Um, that's one thing I like about going live versus like just trying to record a clip because when I'm recording a clip on purpose or deliberately, like I'm thinking, oh, I only have eight seconds, eight seconds to do this clip. And the reason why is because I understand that most people's attention spans is 10 seconds or less. And in order to have a video pop off on social media, you have to be able to capture that person's attention within four seconds. And if you don't capture their attention within four seconds, then you're gonna fail that video. And that video won't get pushed. And that video won't get comments. And that video won't get any likes because it's not getting any engagement, right? Because you didn't capture their attention within four seconds. So when I'm intentionally and deliberately recording a video, I have to strategically create videos for that engagement. And then when I do post the long form videos, or the videos that are more encouraging or positive, it doesn't get anywhere because, why? Because I'm not capturing anyone's attention really. That, that's my fault, yes. But also, I believe like anyone that truly follows me should at least drop a comment, drop a share, give a like, whatever it may be, to truly encourage someone else that might need to hear that message. That's the... That's the reason why I post, man. There's a lot of people that need to hear that message. There's a lot of people that need that encouragement. There's a lot of people that just need to feel valued, worthy. Well, this thing's behind right now. Watch says 1.29 miles. Treadmill says 1.36. I was going to go walk outside, but I haven't busted out the the pro form in a minute, so <laughs> this is what we're doing. Um, and I didn't grab water because why do you need water? <laughs> joking, joking. Um, I did a jog for you all in the beginning of this. It's quite beautiful, quite beautiful. I wonder if I still got the 12 miles an hour in me. Again, it's been a minute since I've actually really just dedicated enough time to do cardio. Cardio to me is very boring. It's very stagnant, stale, boring. Um, and it truly hasn't, it, at the times, in times it does help me mentally, just because I'm like, I accomplished that. But at the same time, like, my mind, I swear I'm like ADHD, but I'm not. My mind constantly moves, and it goes so fast. And when I'm on the treadmill, I feel like I'm not going anywhere. And if I go outside, like, I have to plan that accordingly with kids, at work, and just life. So, like, I can't... <laughs> it sounds like I'm making excuses. I promise I'm not, because I can go for a quick walk. But, like, it just works better to go on the treadmill for me. And plus, I'm an advocate for... You don't need cardio to truly lose a lot of weight. I've tested it. When I first started, I just lifted weights. I didn't do cardio. I was too big to jump on the treadmill, honestly. Treadmills have a weight limit. You know what I mean? Like, when I started the gym, um, I was over 440 pounds, and the, tread, I, I, the treadmill scared me because I said, wait a minute, 350. I lost, like, 60 pounds, and I said, screw it, I'm getting on there. I got on there, and I walked, and it hurt. I was so sore. And then... I, it's like a week after just walking on the treadmill, I was like, I'm gonna try running. My kid's like, no, you're not. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try to run. And I did. That dang thing shook so hard. It felt like you were going over the, <laughs> the, the road, you know, where the, the lines are on the road that vibrates. It felt like I was going over that. The thing was shaking so violently. Um, uh, I just did weights, Sam. That's it, bro. That's all I've ever really done is weights. <clears throat> um, but it was really cool, like, 
being able to say, I did that. I did that. I got to experience that at that weight. So cardio for me has its wins, but it also has its L's. the biggest thing bro without truly tracking what you're eating you're not really knowing if you're really making the right choices um, when I first started I didn't want to track honestly I didn't want to meal prep um, I just wanted to enjoy the gym um, but as soon as I started tracking I started noticing uh, massive results and a lot of progress because honestly I wasn't eating the best when I first started I was like still going to Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King, pigging out, bro, pigging out, even though I was getting a water, but I was still pigging out, um, so yeah, you really got to track, man, <laughs> bro, that's what I'm saying, Sam, bro, you're like my good friend that I've had for over 15 years, um, I posted him once, Actually, I need to reach out to him, see how he's doing, because I haven't heard from him. Um, and uh, he's over 550. It's like 560, 551, something like that. I feel so bad. It's the same way, man. And he's like, I, I ate good. And I was like, what'd you eat? He's like, well, I went to Taco Bell, and I got cravings boxes. I was like, bro, no. No, that's like 1,200 calories. What else did you eat for the day? And then anyways, we sat down one day and we had a conversation about his food intake and his nutrition. And honestly, come to find out what, what's really, he's not eating too bad, but it's all the additional things that he's adding to his meals. Sauces. Sauces, bro. You're adding something that has like 150 calories per serving and that serving's like a tablespoon. You're adding like 10 tablespoons. To make it taste better? No, that's, that's affecting your your weight, bro. Like, just add one tablespoon. Those are, like, the, the biggest things that's really, like, affecting your calories. And just adding additional calories, unnecessary calories, is add-ons. Sauces. They're huge, man. If you want sauces... If you want pizza, I really encourage you to look at the ingredients. Um, and I say pizza because pizza is my, my struggle. I love good pizza. So I started making my own with a uh, pre-made crust from the store. It's like four bucks a crust. It's cauliflower. You get, I, d I did the math one day with you all. It's like 70 calories per slice. You eat the whole pizza, it's like 600 calories. You know what I mean? Like, dude, make your own ranch, Sam. You take uh, sour cream, or uh, sorry, Greek yogurt. You take Greek yogurt, and you add the Hidden Valley packet in it, and you mix it up. That's it, bro. That's it. Dude, Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, you can do so many things with. It's not even funny, bro. Then you're getting your protein and you're getting less calories. At the end of the day, like, it's a win. Dude, I, I take buffalo sauce and Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, and I make a, a creamy uh, buffalo sauce for, like, chicken nuggets. Bro, the biggest key is just sauces, bro. Most people eat decent. It's just, like I said, it's just the add-ons. You, you think it's healthy, but really... When you really sit down and add up the calories, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Everything adds up so quickly. Like, think about it when you go shopping or you leave your house. I tell my kids I'm not leaving the house. They're like, why? I'm like, because it cost me like 100 bucks just to leave the house. They're like, what do you mean? I was like, okay, so think about it. We leave. We're going to stop somewhere. There goes 20 bucks. Stop somewhere. There goes another 30 bucks. You know, everything adds up so fast, bro. You go to the grocery store, you're dropping two bands. Easy. 
for a family my size, that, that, that feeds us a month. $2,000, bro. And so, like, everything goes quick. So think about it that way. Like, you go to the store, you buy something, see how quickly it adds up. That's how quick your calories add up when you keep having these add-ons. You're just... That grilled chicken that you bought, bro, would have had less calories if you didn't put those add-ons on it. Homemade meal, meals. Bro, the thing is, is, you'd be like, wait, you still eat that sometimes? No. Um, so, for me, meals are hard to share just because, one, what I eat isn't most likely what you should be eating on a daily basis. That's it. But, I also take my feeding time, <laughs> feeding time, sounds terrible, I also take my time when I eat with my family. So I, I try to eliminate everything out of social media and out of, I put the phone down and I just eat, bro. I spend time with my family, it's all I do. So I do apologize, I don't post meals or give ideas. Um, so I just try to commit my time while I'm eating with family. Just because like, that's the time a lot of people get to that's why comfort eating is such a big thing, right? Because the family comes together during food. So I literally put everything down and I don't eat or I don't even have my phone out when I'm eating just because it's their time. So I really don't take photos. Um, sorry, you all. I suck at that. Bro, I'm actually almost done with my two months, four months. I say we should go for a. Yeah, bro. Did you say you're a truck driver, right, Sam? You drive 18 wheeler, right? I think you did. So I'm gonna do this last jog, last stretch. Um, and then I'm probably just going to log off in the live. I'm not going to lie to you all. Yeah. But um, I'm, glad, I'm hoping that you all, you know, make good decisions, healthier decisions. Um, start really... Wanting to wake up next to your family, man. I really do. And just know, my mission has never changed. We're going to defeat obesity globally. We're going to change people's lives that they never thought that they could change. We're going to show the impossible. Here we go. Uh, this is seven miles an hour, by the way. If anyone wants it. Have a good 